All right, what we got here today is my brother got a 16 pound medicine ball here. And uh, what he's gonna do is this exercise, it works explosive strength and quickness at the same time. If you've ever been involved in any kind of combat uh, activities, you know quickness kills. So this is a good example of it. Explosive strength and quickness. Check it out. All right, next, my brother's got a 21 pound mace bell. Now this is a good tool here, and it works your grip, works your shoulders, works all your stability muscles, and even your core. Check it out. All right, today we're gonna to talk a little bit about the seven things that God hates. I'll be reading today out of Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. It says, these are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, Hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that devises wicked schemes. Feet that are quick to rush into evil. A false witness who pours out lies. And a man who stirs up dissension among brothers. Yeah, and this isn't the first time God says that he hates something. It's back in Deuteronomy chapter 16 verse 22. The Lord said, Neither shalt thou set thee up any image which the Lord thy God hateth. See, God is love, but God also hates. You know, God denies liberal theology that he is some senile old man that just shuts his eyes to the sin of man. You know, this idea that we should go easy on the guilty today it's really because we don't have the courage to have a program of punishment. And that's what is wrecking our society today. See, God is willing to punish the guilty, and God is not afraid of public opinion. God doesn't run from the idea of offending man. You know, that one verse kind of hits home, hands that shed innocent blood. I mean, I don't know what, what comes to your mind first, but I think about abortion. Oh, I think yeah. about all these innocent kids, babies that are uh, put to death. That's right. I mean, God hates that. It innocent, says it. innocent babies, yeah. That's right. It doesn't get any more innocent than a, an unborn child, you know. Uh, all seven of them are, uh, we need to take to heart. Um, in my own life, just this week, you know, battling with things, you know, keeping things real, being honest about what you're dealing with, you know, and sometimes like uh, talking about the pride thing, you know, sometimes the Lord will turn you over his knee and spank you, you know what I mean? So, you know, I know that's something I've had to deal with just this week, but I tell you what, he'll humble you and, and you better get right quick. 
Yeah, of all the things he mentioned there, you know, the number one on the hit list is pride. God hates pride. And like we said, God is love. He loved us enough that he sent his son to die on that cross for our sins, but yet God also hates. And we're supposed to love the things that God loves and hate the things that God hates. Now, this list of seven sins is like a mirror. We look into it and we kind of squirm because we see ourselves. We all should take a look into the mirror of God's word and see ourselves as we really are. And I mean, if you're honest, and ain't, you don't like what you see in that mirror, that's because, right. I mean, you know, we're all human. We all make mistakes, but, you know, he defeated death. He died for us. And right. we know, we know what he hates. He says it clearly in his word, and, and yet right. we do it anyway, you that's know. Right. So, yeah, I mean, if you're honest, yeah, you got to look in that mirror. And, yeah, I mean, and when you do, we should confess these things to, to God and be honest with him and ask him to cleanse us from these things. That's 100% truth. And this is 100% truth. See you on the next video.